We're gonna talk about a red wine that's gonna stain your teeth and make you happy. Petite Syrah. All right, welcome back to Drinking It In. I'm your host, Chris Cassara. We are here to help you know more and drink better. And um, this is take two of our Petite Syrah episode because I just recorded the entire thing but didn't have the camera on. That's right. Recorded the whole thing, went around, check it out, see what it was like, and read, and that red button was still there. It was not a square. So, take two. But, I'm happy, right? Because I'm still drinking this Petite Syrah, and it is good stuff. So, Petite Syrah, which is um, a very, very, very dark wine, um, if you see, see here, um, is not petite at all. Um, mainly grown in California, uh, Napa, Sonoma, Lodi, Central Valley, California. There are some other spots in the world that do it, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's a California wine. Um, it's big. You're going to get plums and blackberries and blueberries and chocolate. Uh, good ones will have a floral note. Um, now, the, uh, I'm going to actually put this over here for a sec. When you think about, um, our scale where you've got, the light end, heavy end, you've got Pinot Noir, and then all the way on this heavy end, you got Syrah, S-Y-R-A-H. Petite Syrah is by no means smaller than Syrah. It's actually probably should be the end of the, of, of the scale for the heaviest weight grape um, out there. Um, it's also spelled S-I-R-A-H. I don't know why, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a big one. It's going to stain your teeth, right? It's not a good wine for uh, first dates. Right, because you're gonna look like a vampire. Um, but you know these are gorgeous wines, um, and um, you know when you have, you know they have a really good uh, medium to high acidity. So when you combine that big wine with a medium to high acidity, it's great for fatty foods. So great for a ribeye, great for a burger, um, fantastic with um, things that are earthy like mushrooms and eggplant, earthy and big. So. Think about that when you're drinking, a, you know, when you're grabbing a, pe a petite Syrah, those are the types of foods you're going to want to have. If you try to um, have a petite Syrah with scallops, you're going to murder the scallops. You don't want to do it. So um, let's taste this guy. So this is a Stag's Leap Nesere Malis Petite Syrah 2014 from the Napa Valley. Um, this is all that is left. Um, and... Uh, but I'm glad I saved a little to, uh, to try on this episode. Um, so it is just, it's like the most intense grape juice concentrate that you will ever smell. Um, and with plenty of blueberries in there. There's, you know, I've had trouble, or I, I have trouble being able to describe, um, to pinpoint whether something's a blackberry, blueberry flavors in wine. You know, you also, you mostly probably see me saying, you know, this is like black and blue fruit, but this is distinctly blueberry in, um, in aroma. So that's really neat. Um, I do get, I do get that floral note that I was saying a good petite Syrah may get you. So that's really great. I mean, it, you know, just a, an intense concentrated blueberries, um, with some flowers in it. Let's see. Yeah, this is a winner. Um, that acid, you feel that acid, but um, it's so good. It's just so luscious. It's um, it's almost evolving, almost evolving into a caramel note. Um, you know, so I get lots of fruit, but then as it sits in my mouth, it's developing like a caramel note. I don't even know what to say. That's phenomenal. This wine, you know, this guy is, um, this guy's probably on the pricey side. Uh, it was a gift. Thank you, Lily. Good choice. Um, but, um, and I, so if you can find this one, go get it. It's stupendous. Um, you know, Petit Syrahs can also be pretty decent value wines if you see them in uh, Lodi, um, California. And even if you, um, even some in uh, Sonoma can, you know, be under like, you know, in the 20 to $25 range. So not, um, you know, not breaking the bank at all. Um, 
I think, you know, the only reason Petite Syrah is aptly named is because if you like Syrah, you're going to like a Petite Syrah. Um, otherwise, it's, uh, it's, you know, again, it's no means smaller than Syrah. It's actually bigger than Syrah. Um, I think if you think back a couple episodes to our Mouvedre um, episode where we tasted a Mouvedre from California, uh, it's, you know, big, luscious, dark, right? If you like that Mouvedre, you like a Monastrel from Spain, try a Petite Syrah. Um, and finally, you know, I think if you like a Zinfandel, you know, Zinfandels are big, but they're, um, they're smoother, right? They don't have any rough edges. But if you like, you know, if you think you'll be okay with amping up, you know, some of that flavor and some of the tannin and some of the uh, acid, you like a Zinfandel, try a Petite Syrah. So, Lots of good stuff here. Um, get out, explore. Thank you for joining. Thank you for um, sticking with me uh, through all through this entire episode. Take two. Hopefully, this was better than take one, but I'll never know. I got nothing to compare it to. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, you're getting, you're, you're enjoying these videos. Let me know, if, you know, if you have other ideas of what you would like to see me. Uh, you know, bring into the uh, into the program, be it wines, spirits, cocktails. You know, I'd love to hear it, and uh, hope to uh, talk to you soon. Thanks again, folks. Cheers.